It's a movement to keep other children from slipping through the cracks when it comes to violent abuse. Today, dozens of people gathered to honor Adrian Jones, the seven-year-old boy who was abused, his body fed to pigs. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan met with a group of people riding to the Capitol for change. Most of these people never met Adrian Jones, and most don't know his family. But his story is one that tore at the hearts of many. And the details just came out and how horrific it was. The remains of seven-year-old Adrian Jones were found in 2015. After years of abuse, the boy had died and been fed to pigs. He died two years ago and nobody in Kansas City had done anything for him. Today, Stephanie Knight and Janelle Pace organized this ride to the Capitol in Adrian's honor. And a lot of times we tend to focus on the perpetrators and not the victim. And I just really wanted Adrian to be remembered for the strong boy he was. We just really want to also raise awareness for the prevention of child abuse and some changes in our legislation. Adrian's half-sister and grandmother say they're grateful for the kindness of these two strangers. It's truly a blessing that everybody's taken the time out of their lives just to come here. I can never thank them enough. While they hope to raise awareness, today's ride is really about one thing, honoring Adrian. He had more courage in his short seven years on life than any adult I've ever known. The hope is with changes in legislation and policy, children who are victims of abuse like Adrian will not slip through the cracks. Funds from today's ride will go towards a memorial and headstone for Adrian Jones. Reporting here in Shawnee, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News. If you couldn't make today's ride but still want to contribute, Adrian's grandmother asked that donations be made to Willow Domestic Violence House in Lawrence.